Your home cool without breaking the bank really becomes a top priority. Today we're diving into the most asked questions energy companies get every single summer. From thermostat settings to hidden rebates, we've got expert backed answers to help you save some money and stay comfortable as well. Joining me today is Chuck McDade, Senior Communications Specialist with Pepco. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Okay, I wanted to start with one that, a question we get all the time. What thermostat settings will save me the most money without sacrificing comfort? And I will preface this with saying the last time we did a story on this, 78 degrees was the answer I got, and I was getting angry tweets about that for a week. So what, what say you? So, you know, you have to look at this through the lens of what we went through in the winter time, right? It was really cold and, and you crank the heat up. So if you're like me and you don't like heat, but you like your air conditioner, you're going to have to think, okay, maybe setting it at 68 is not the best thing to do. So believe it or not, the Department of Energy does recommend that you set it 7 to 10 degrees higher than what you would normally have it set at. So if it's 70 that means 77 or 78 degrees. Now, it says to do this for eight hours a day to save potentially 10% or more on your energy bills. So do that when you're not home. That's why investing in a smart thermostat allows you to do that. And if you don't have a smart thermostat, if you're going away for work and no one else is home, that's when you turn it up mm. to that 77 degrees. This way you're not wasting that energy when you're not at home because the biggest driver similar to winter when it was your heat, is going to be that air conditioner in the summertime. So you want to try to be mindful to keep that temperature higher, but at a comfortable level. And again, this also depends on if your health permits this to do so. So again, that's the Department of Energy's recommendation is to seven or 10 degrees higher than normal. Right, that and if you have pets in the home, be mindful of that as well. I wanted just to ask, yeah. how can we keep the heat out of our homes during the day? Any simple fixes you can share? Absolutely. The, the most easiest and simple trick is to keep the blinds and curtains closed. If that sun is on your home during the day, especially in you know that peak time afternoon, keep them closed. That is the best way to keep that heat out and to keep that thermostat from kicking on. Another tip with your windows, similar to winter, is go around and feel where that warm drafty air is coming in and get some weather sealant or a caulking to prevent it from coming in. Those two tips right there will help save you some energy as it keeps your thermostat from kicking on. All right, I love it. And quickly, if people want to compare rates, rate plans, or track energy use, any easy way for them to do that? Absolutely. If you go to pepco.com or download our free smartphone app, we have what's the My Account feature. And in that My Account feature is the energy usage alerts. And I live and die by this in the summertime. You can actually set how much you want your energy bill to be. So let's say you don't want it to go over $150. So you set that alert in. And as you use energy during those hot 90 degree days, you start getting alerts that says, hey, let's start trimming back on your energy usage, you're approaching that threshold. So those energy usage alerts are a big tool to use during the summertime to help you save some money. All right, Chuck McDade, Senior Communications Specialist with Pepco. Thank you so much for your time and for helping us, you know, save a little bit of money this summer. We appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you.